Welcome back to Scotty's Hobbies. In this quick video, I'm going to give you the front brake torque specifications on a Hyundai Sonata. This is going to be for the year models from 2010 to 2021, covering everything in between. The brake torque specs for the caliper to knuckle and the caliper to bracket are the same for all years, but the lug nut torque specification does change a little bit in the newer models. So make sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video to make sure you are getting the proper brake torque specifications, well, lug nut torque specifications for your vehicle as well. Now you might be wondering where I get my torque specifications from when I am performing a BJ here in the garage on, on any of these vehicles that I do. Well, this here is the motor guide book, Brake Specifications Guide. Gives me all the helpful information I need to get a brake job done properly. The minimum thickness of a rotor, the maximum diameter of a drum when I am machining either one, and also the torque specifications on the brakes and the lug nuts. Very, very helpful book, and it also includes more information in this book as well. But this is where I get most of my information from if I'm not looking at all data or Mitchell On Demand. Brake torque specifications is very important when you are performing a brake job. You want to make sure that everything is tightened up properly. You don't want to over tighten anything, strip something out, break a bolt, and just make the job harder. You also don't want to under tighten or not tighten something enough to where it's going to vibrate loose and just have catastrophic brake problems or brake failure while you're driving down the road. Also, when you're using proper brake torque specifications, when you're tightening everything up, you're ensuring that everything can move properly and freely and just ensure the best quality brake job that you can do on your own. Now, if you need a complete tutorial on how to perform a front brake job on your vehicle for the pads, rotors, where to use lube, everything, tools needed, torque specs, all that good stuff, look for a link in the description or in the first comment, and I'll provide a link to a full DIY tutorial on how to perform a brake job on this vehicle. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. First off, the caliper bracket to knuckle bolts. These bolts should be tightened up in a window of 58 to 72 foot pounds. Right in the center is my preference or more towards the ladder, never towards the 58 foot pounds. So I believe in the video, if you go watch it, I tighten it down to about 65 foot pounds. But in the window of 58 to 72 foot pounds, this 17 millimeter bolt can be tightened up too. Next, you're gonna have the caliper to bracket bolts. These are 14 millimeter bolts. These bolts could be tightened up in the window of 16 to 23 millimeter. foot pounds. Not too tight, not too loose. These ones are easy to strip pounds. out and break if you over tighten them. So just make sure you tighten these 14 millimeter bolts to 16 to 23 foot pounds. Now, the lug nuts. Very important to do a proper brake job. You want to make sure that the lug nuts are tightened up properly in a star pattern to make sure that the wheel is nice and flush, flat up against the hub and rotor so you don't have any vibration. And again, to make sure that you're ensuring that you are doing a proper brake job. You always want to tighten up the lug nuts in a star pattern. I'll snug the lug nuts up while the vehicle is in the air, drop the vehicle on the ground, and then set them to proper torque specifications. First off, the 2010 to 2017 year models. These lug nuts are tightened down in a window of 65 80 to 80 foot pounds. foot pounds. Again, 2010 to 2017, 65 to 80 foot pounds. Now, if you're working on a 2018 to 2021 year Hyundai Sonata, these lug nuts are tightened down a little bit tighter. The window on these lug nuts is 79 to 94 foot pounds. So just make sure you're tightening them up properly in a good cross or star pattern, not in a circle pattern. And again, the 2018 to 2021 year models in the window of 79 to 94 foot pounds. If this video did help you out, make sure to comment below with the year, make and model of the vehicle that it did help you on. Don't forget to check out Scotty's Hobbies. Hit that like button right now, please. And I will see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video.